hello everyone welcome back in the new video in this video we will see the flow for adding new organization in the consortium so what kind of different flow we have to follow so that we can add this organization in the consortium and using that third organization how we can create a channel so let's see here you can see here so at the top you can see creating the crypto model this is the first step but before that i am assuming that our network is already up and running so previous so first of all we will create this network like two organization one order organization to one peer organization inside the peer organization we have two organizations organization one and organization two so each organization will have two peers one is the endorsing peer that is the peer zero is the endorsing peer for the organization one and again here peer zero is the endorsing peer for organization two we will have each cause div instance for each peer and in the orderer we will have a cluster of three raft orderer each organization will have dedicated certificate authority and you can see in the diagram this is the transaction flow so once we are done with the creating the network the next step we have to follow first one is creating the new organization crypto material so once our network is already up and running for the two organization we want to add a third organization in the consortium so the what is so the procedure is almost exactly same which we have followed in the adding organization in the application channel but there there is little difference that first of all we have we have to check in the fir first thing is we have to create a crypto material for the new organizations so once we are done in the crypto material for these organizations so next step is creating the channel artifacts because i we want to see if that new organization can create a channel or not in the previous section we have already covered these things okay the only the purpose of this three first three step is just checking if the third organization can create a channel if even though it's not part of that consortium so first of all we will face the genesis block that is the system channel block and we will try to update we will try to update that block but before that before that when we create a crypto material create a channel artifacts that is the channel the transaction block for the new channel and creating the new channel with that channel dot transaction block which we have created in this step and using this block we will send we will create we will send it create channel transaction to the orderer so that orderer generally verifies if this organization is the part of the consortium or not if that or this organization is not a part of that consortium this transaction will get rejected and it is as expected so we should we should get a rejection message uh, rejection error that this organization is not a part of this consortium so he, that organization cannot create a channel so next step what we will do we will create a org3 definition we have to add this or third organization in the system channel so for that again we will create a org3 definition using that uh, config.txt.yaml file which we have mentioned the information related to the org, uh, organization 3 next step would be the fetching the system channel block so later on once we are done with this uh, org3 definition file we will fetch the channel system channel block from the orderer so we will update this block with the necessary this definition file of the organization 3 once we are done with the update we have to sign this block with the orderer admin certificates because consortium part can be updated using orderer admin only so that's why we have to update the system channel update block with the orderer admin once we are done with the signing this block with the orderer admin so we have to send that block to the orderer so once we get a successful submission response so after that we will again try to create a channel with the organization 3 so this time we should should be able to create a channel so once we are uh, done with the creating the channel next step will be the running all the containers for the organization 3 so we will run all the three containers like certified authority peer zero organization 3 and the cows db for the organization once we are done with the running all the containers the next step would be the joining this newly created channel with the organization 3 peer that is peer zero organization 3 
and we will do necessary uh, update anchor pair as well once we are done with this updating anchor pair and all so we will deploy a new smart contract in this uh, in this channel so again uh, so we will be using the same smart contract but we will give some different name so that uh, we can install that as well parallelly so means in your our network we will have two smart contract so in the previous in the previous existing network we have already one and in this new channel that is the organization one and organization three we will have new smart contract so once we are done with the deployment we will invoke some of the transactions and check if we are able to invoke the transactions and once we are done with the invocation we will query those transactions once we get the data for that particular invoke transaction uh, we are done so it means we have successfully updated the consortium and finally created the channel with the new or newly created organization and we are able to invoke and query the transaction on that particular channel so that will be the final step and we will verify on the cows db as well so that's it for this video in the next video we will start from this first step